Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new here, and today it's going to be one of the final countdown to college series videos, and it's just going to be some of my best and worst college dorm purchases. Some of these things I personally purchased, and some things are things that my friends or maybe hallmates purchased and either regretted or definitely recommended to me that I should have purchased when I was coming in. If you are moving into a dorm very, very soon, these are some things you might want to consider bringing or maybe consider leaving at home or returning. So if you are interested, did any of that type of thing keep on watching So we're gonna go ahead and run down through things that you definitely want to bring with you if you're going into the dorm. And like a lot of my other videos, I'm just gonna be running through a little list that I have here on my phone, just sharing with you guys my advice on, you know, all these different things. The first and foremost is a mattress topper. I had one of these my freshman year. I had it, it was for the twin XL bed. Make sure that you invest and splurge on this more than I would say anything else that you're going to be purchasing for your dorm because you don't wanna mess with your sleep. Sleeping is something you definitely wanna invest in because it impacts your body. That's that's something you definitely want to bring for your dorm. Up next is to have extra long sheets. Definitely try to look for like deep pocketed sheets. That way they're going to like go over your mattress and your mattress topper and you won't have to deal with it like popping back and forth. Next is to have an extra long device charger cord. I had this, I mentioned this a lot in my freshman year videos in the dorm that I had my bed raised pretty high. And so having an extra long cord, I recommend about a six or even 10 foot charging cord. That way, wherever it's connected in the room, you can still reach it. If you have one of those bedside caddies, which is my next thing, you want to be able to have it where your phone can stick in there. The next two are a micro fridge and then a steamer, extra storage options, whether it's bins, stuff that you can organize stuff in your closet because you want to maximize the space that you are allotted within your dorm room. Up next is just lighting and the dorm usually either have one overhead light or no light at all. So it can be very dim and like dingy in there. Lighting is very, very important. Next is an essential oil diffuser. In the dorm, we couldn't have candles so I had an essential oil diffuser and it worked quite well. Next is to have some kind of rug. I had it right underneath my bed and it was a great place to kind of help the room feel a little bit more homey, a little bit more cozy, a place that I can even just like sit in my room that wasn't my bed or my desk chair. Next is just cleaning supplies. Just like the apartment, you always are having a space that needs to be cleaned. Don't go crazy because again, you don't have a ton of space. So for the next thing, it would be silverware and then water bottles. So you definitely want to have silverware because you're probably going to be making more things in your dorm as the semester goes on. Or even if you're just eating some leftovers that you maybe brought back from home, you want to have just a few pieces of silverware. I would say maybe like one or two sets. And then also water bottles, you're going to be doing a lot of walking on campus you definitely want to have some water bottles so you can stay hydrated throughout the week and as you're walking to and from your classes next going along with all this stuff is a bowl and a plate again if you're eating or heating up some leftovers it's easy to kind of microwave a bowl and a plate i know target has a whole bunch of different options that are all cute and aesthetic even walmart as well maybe even bed bath and beyond too i haven't even checked them out so you can probably get them from a lot of different places right now with the whole back to school season happening make sure that you purchase some next is a keurig so if you drink a lot of coffee or even tea or just think that you might need something to help boil water i would recommend that you purchase that if that's something that you think would be beneficial to you you in your dorm because that was definitely a great purchase on my end and the last great purchase that I want to recommend for the dorm is getting a laundry basket that has handles because for me our laundry room was down in the basement of our building I couldn't imagine if I had one of those like normal laundry baskets that would have been quite heavy but I was really happy I had one that was drawstring so now on to some of the things that I would have not purchased if I were given the chance again things that you probably don't want to bring to college or bring to your dorm first off is unnecessary decor don't want a whole bunch of clutter and again your space is quite small in college especially a college dorm leave all that stuff home just have a few little cutesy things and then find a whole bunch of stuff that you can utilize into storage next is to have white bedding no because it will probably get messed up i had one last year in my college apartment it didn't get messed up until towards the end of the year but i also was very careful not to eat on it or do much on it and you just really don't have that option too too much in the dorm because your space is so small your bed's like the largest thing so you're naturally going to want to be on your bed having white bedding in the dorm i've just heard time and time again it's just not an ideal situation Next is just an excessive amount of pillows. And yes, it looks cute. Just try to like limit the amount of extra pillows you put on your bed. Yes, they're cute and decorative. Maybe save that for when you get a little bit bigger space than in your dorm. Next is just a vacuum, especially if your dorm offers one or your roommate's getting one, like you don't need one. Next is just an excessive amount of cups and dishes. You don't need to have like a whole family pack of that. You're not gonna really need to use it that frequently. And if you do need to use it, you could just wash the one or two. Next is a printer. And this kind of depends on the person. I know some people in my hall who have 
printers and they loved it. They loved the convenience of you know being able to print things late at night and not have to walk to a place that had a printer. I've heard other people who complained about it wasn't like cost efficient for them to have it. it. Depends on the person. I just utilize the printers on campus whenever I need to print something. Next is roommate duplicates. If you have duplicates, again, that's not space or even money efficient. Try to avoid those by communicating and figuring out who's going to get what and what items. A parking pass, depending on the person and how often you use your car. There's some people who used to just to go home. There's other people who like never barely use their car and they felt like the parking pass was the place because their car just sat there for so many months. Know that there's so many other alternatives that you can do instead of having a car on campus. And the last thing is just excessive amount of school supplies. Wait until you get into your classes and figure out what you need for you. Those were all of my like college purchases, best and worst, what you should and shouldn't bring to your dorm. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye guys.